Hi, my name is Clemens and last year I started my own company Together with Flo. In this video I want to talk to you about the last year. I want to share with you some of the highlights that have happened and talk to you about some of the challenges that we were facing. It all actually started with me being laid off from my full-time job back in March. Flo was already self-employed and working on some projects and together we were already building apps in our free time. Back then we were thinking a lot about building an app that can somehow help you plan your day in alignment to your energy levels. We have noticed for ourselves that in the afternoon there is always this awkward dip where we are feeling super tired and we cannot focus on anything. We thought there must be a reason for this and so we started looking and researching in the internet and we actually found out that there is the circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm controls your basic body's functions so it decides ultimately when you feel tired or energized. And we thought, hey, that's kind of cool. Could we build an app that would help us predict when we will feel tired? And then this way we were hoping people could use it to not plan meetings in their afternoon dip. In the first few weeks of building our app, we focused a lot on developing a working prototype. Alongside this development experiment, we also spent some time thinking about what we want the app to look like, what we want the app to feel like and what experience we want people to have with it. Our first vision for the app was actually to be a calendar app. We thought it would be awesome if people could see their days in their calendars and next to that they could see their, their rhythm curve, they could see their energy level. We thought this way surely people will use it and plan their days in it and make sure that meetings that are important don't happen when their afternoon dip happens. What we did very early on is show both the development build and the design drafts that we had to people that we knew. We did this to gather insights and feedback from them on our idea, on the vision for the app and the way it feels. If you want to learn more about the early days of Designing Peaks, feel free to check out our blog post about it. On the 22nd of June, it then finally was the time and we released our app to the App Store. And it was cool, it felt nice, but nothing much happened. Back then, we already knew that we wanted to pursue this opportunity further. I had stopped looking for a full-time job and we knew that we want to start our own company. And it all led up on the 4th of July when we were at the notary and signed the papers. In the first month after founding our company, we were busy with fixing bugs and working on other projects. But on the 3rd of August, we finally launched Peaks on Product Hunt. Until then, some people have downloaded the app, but this was the first time presenting it to a bigger stage of people. For me, it certainly was a highlight last year. We actually made it to the top 10 products of the day and I'm still super grateful for everyone who voted for us. We got lots of feedback from the community to our launch. One of the most requested things was an Apple Watch app. Flo and I always wanted to have an Apple Watch app. But back then, when we first built the app, it just didn't fit the schedule. Since we got so much feedback about it, we took the time and in early September we released our Apple Watch version of the app. Fast forward to October, when we got the opportunity to participate in the Wannabe Founder program. The Wannabe Founder course is a three-week program that teaches you the basics about starting a company in Austria. It was super fun to attend this course with like-minded people. Everyone there was working on their own project, starting their own company. And also, it was super insightful to hear from so many great experts in different fields. We are very thankful for this opportunity and definitely learned a lot. Later in November, another highlight happened. Everyone always told us that they didn't like the original icon of the app. And we totally agreed with them. And so we actually got together with a very talented icon designer and he designed the new icon for our app. But by far the biggest highlight of last year happened on the 17th of December. On this day, we were part of Indie App Center. This program is an advanced calendar where each day a new Indie app is fully free. And when we heard that they were looking for apps to participate, we immediately applied. It was super exciting to see so many people try the app. And with that, the year came to an end. Flo and I are both super excited for what's about to happen and we have big plans in store. We would like to invite you to follow along and thank you for your support so far.